Hey, what's happening, everyone? So, it's been one full year now since I've made my beautiful new computer and filled it with Primo Chill View. I've got two different colors in here. And I'm starting to see some sediment building up. You can see it particularly on the reservoirs and most especially on the NV Green fluid. And though I haven't noticed any changes in my heating profiles, there's been no change in my GPU or CPU temperatures, I decided it's time to take a look at how things have been inside and uh, whether or not I need to clean it, take it apart, exactly what. And so that's what I'm going to look at in this video. I've been getting a lot of questions from people who've looked at my earlier video of this uh, system that I made, and I've got a link below if you want to see how I built this. Uh, right there you can see a little bit of crud building up on the uh, fins of the CPU water block. The uh, I just loved using glass. I actually used PETG to measure out the system, but then I got this Alpha Cool uh, glass tubing, and you can buy it so that it already has the 90 degree bends in it. And I think it just makes things so much uh, more beautiful. It's clear. So uh, follow me and we'll... So now that I've drained the GPU reservoir, the green one, you can really see tons of sediment that have built up. I mean, this looks like crud. And um, this is a glass system. So I have glass tubing Although, as you can see in the water block, the water block is made out of acrylic and the metal is nickel. And you can see quite a bit of sediment. So here, I've only just drained the system. I've done nothing yet to try to clean it. And uh, I'm going to show you the before. This is the before and then after I rinse it with, uh, here it is, System Reboot. Just one little bottle and you... Uh, diluted in four liters or one gallon of distilled water and it's going to run for a day and a half and here it is uh, because of the nature of my loop I couldn't really drain it very well so you can see that there's still quite a bit of sediment still left in and we got some nasty little um, bits there that we'll see what's happening here you can see the GPU water loop so after a day and a half, you can see how much less sediment there is on the um, the main large part of the reservoir. It's worst at the top, and I think that's because that's where the circulation seems to be the least. Um, but you know, with just using System Reboot alone, it seemed to get off quite a bit of the sediment, uh, but of course, not quite enough. So, time to take it apart and uh, give it a good wash. The stuff came off incredibly easily, just under flowing water. You know what? I always wash better and put things back together with some good music. How about this? So after a day and a half, you can see it looks not too bad, but I'm going to take apart the water block and we'll inspect it a little bit closer to see what it looks like. Okay, with the cover off, let's take a look at what our GPU water block looks like. Not bad. It's not perfectly clean, but you know, for those of you who are wondering if you can get away with just using Sys Reboot and flushing your system, this is not terribly bad, although, you know, it's, now that I've opened it up, it just takes a toothbrush. I don't use toothpaste, just uh, it's a damp toothbrush. Actually, it's uh, my son's toothbrush. Uh, sorry, buddy, if that tasted a little bad that one morning, I guess you now know why. On the CPU water block, you can see some crud building up. So I took it off as well. 
This is after a day and a half of the Sys Reboot cleaning. So again, I'll take a toothbrush, clean this off, and then reassemble it. While I do that, how about a bit more music? Okay, so I've got Sterling Silver, Prima Chill View, and I've got the NV Green Fluid, both of which are, I think, beautiful to see. Uh, these are brand new bottles that I'm going to be putting in. So enjoy. So, what do I recommend? Well, you can go with a clear, colorless fluid. Or you can pick something like Prima Chill View, which, you know, probably after 6, 9 months, maybe 12 months, like my system, you're going to get some buildup. I think uh, in order to minimize that possibility, I tried to use as much glass components as possible. So, my heat killer reservoir tubes are made out of glass. All my tubing is made out of glass. Of course, my radiators are made of copper and I have no idea what things look like inside. Um, I didn't quite feel like taking the whole system apart and doing a proper clean of those, so who knows what lurks in there. You've seen what's happened inside of my water blocks and I think that's where the majority of concern has been amongst the community as to uh, the blocking up of the fins and therefore reducing the heat exchange. I had some build up, but I didn't have any difficulties with my heat, not yet. And uh, so I plan every year to take it apart, clean it out this way. It does take a couple weekends and a lot of flushing of the system, but for the rest of the time, you know, nothing beats the stellar view of this gorgeous system. So if you like this video, give a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Hey.